Hello, we're in the Bloom Chronicle room. So today, um, I have a special guest today. Um, I have my dad, and my dad has been the most amazing man in my life. And I always told stories about him. And just now, I was talking about how funny and crazy he is, his little life stories. But my dad always inspired me. He always made sure that I was um, on point. No matter how much he thought I was listening, I used to get in the car in the morning, he got me to school and lectured me the whole way to school. I'm in ninth grade. I hear him, but I don't really hear him, but you know, but I hear him. And over the years of my pivots in life and my transitions, he's always been there as like my lawyer, my, my doctor, my counselor, um, the president of the United States, and that's my dad. He's so like, he's just this person that has so much energy and, and he always keeps me going. So, and that's what about my mom last week, you know, just thankful for her. My dad is like a thankful part of everything. He just, I'm thankful for like everything that he does for me, everything that he's instilled in me. He would tell me to keep going. Um, when I was, I lost my pride in life after I lost my son, my dad, he really like put a fire on me and let me know, Robert, you gotta keep moving, you gotta keep pushing. But he was so inspiring over the year of being a kid. I knew he would do that with my son, but he would keep him moving. He, Spoke at my son's funeral and had a standing ovation. My dad, the parents hadn't even spoke yet. My dad spoke, it was over. So, that's the kind of man he is. So, I, um, I just think about everything that he's done for his children. Um, I'm thankful for how he picks up and moves when we need him. I'm thankful for all the advice he gives me. I need some advice sometimes for the parents might have given me. My dad doesn't. So, that is one of my thankful moments in my day that I think about my dad all the time. So today, I will have my dad here as a special guest. He will be um, at my tabletop and really cooking with him. He helped me to cook as a kid. He showed me how to cook, what uh, proper foods to cook. He always ate fresh, always ate green, always ate healthy. Um, we started becoming um, vegetarians, not vegetarians. They were vegetarians back then, but we weren't able to eat other things. But they, you know, they ate wheat, red meat. They ate white meat, sorry. Only white meat and um, turkey. They didn't eat red meat, beef, or pork. So they helped us, me and my sister Marva, who grew up in the house with them, helped us learn how to eat. So now, to this day, me and Marva know how to create meals that are fresh, that are random. Being that I'm vegan, I make other things. So I want to go in the kitchen with my dad. We're back, and I had my next guest, my father, Marvin Griff. Say hi, Dad. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> So I needed my dad here today because um, all the things that I have done around the Bloom brand um, and everything I've done in my life, honestly, up until since I was, I mean, all my life, how about that? My dad is, has always encouraged me and um, made sure that I did things properly and I worked my butt off to get stuff done and I was focused and all that. But he also helped us to um, know that he helped us become great. He helped, he helped his children to become great children not just being a great dad you know does so he would always tell me reinvent yourself daily you remember that day yes i do and i i, he, I put that in all my quotes or i put that in my book um he would always come in and do these things and do this and do that i wasn't listening for a little while but as i got older i really started to listen and when i was 26 i told him how i really felt what did i say to you? well it was the most amazing thing to me at 26 <laughs> out the clear blue sky she says dad i understand I mean, 26 years it took me to, this is what you have to do, this is the road you need to take, these are the mistakes that you're going to make, and these are the things that you need to look at so you won't make those kind of mistakes. And I kept getting pushed back. And at age 26, I out the clear blue sky, she said, Dad, you were right. I got it, and yeah. By that time, all my hair had fallen out. <laughs> well, mine probably did too, being so, a you know, it, it, It's that uh, the goal was to, to teach your kids to be moral, to be right, to be honest, and to do the things that that are going to be important to their lives. Yes. The problem was that when you're young, you see things from a whole different lens. Yes, you do. And 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 that means even choosing relationships. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And so, you know, there's a lot of things that go into this whole parenting thing. But one of the things that I kind of stressed to her, and maybe because I was an entrepreneur, is that you don't have to work for anybody all the time, but Whatever you do, and, and this is something that I, I used to uh, kind of drill into her head, particularly when she left Tuskegee and decided that she wanted to become a hairdresser. I said, go work with somebody first. Yep. For a reason. Learn 
the nomenclatures of the business, learn relationships, learn how the business operates. Who I thought was very good as a real estate, I mean, as a uh, uh, hairdresser. Yes. And yeah. he was, and he was pretty big time. Oh, like but he did some things that, that I didn't like. And she told me, so I, mean, so I called him. <laughs> I had a phone call conversation with him about mm -hmm. what transpired in that, in that opportunity. And he and I have a good relationship now, but it, it also let him know that somebody was watching. Yeah, okay. and he made sure, so I could tell my dad anything, like, you know, yeah. my mom was more so, I'm, I'm custom out, my dad was like, let's talk about it. So yeah. he, um, my dad, I told him a lot of things growing up. I told him things, more things now that I'm older, because now the business that I'm in, he's also an entrepreneur, like he said, he helped me to grow. Anything that I've done, he helped me to bloom on my business. Well, so. you know, it, it's that when you're dealing with people, and particularly when you're in service business, service business, you're dealing with people, and everybody that comes in that door, are not going to be on the same page as you every day. Exactly. Uh, you know, we all have our mornings and evenings. And, you know, we didn't just talk earlier too about you know, that. Whatever yeah. happens at the house, sometimes we trans take it to work. Take it to work with you. Yep. Okay. And even though you are providing service, your client, okay, may not be in a good mood. Yeah. Or your client may be in a good mood. Or your client just needs somebody to to, to kind of talk to. And that's what and I'm so, doing. And so, and <laughs> so, you know, there was uh, uh, recently there was an article in the paper about hairdressers and barbers, okay, who really are, particularly hairdressers, were almost like psychiatrists yep. because they were basically listening to the issues of, of women who are getting their hair done. And mm -hmm. I'm using women because that's who yeah. their hair done. And um, it was a way of finding out somebody might need something. Somebody just needed a little hug. And that hug can just be a conversation. It yeah. doesn't have to be a, a physical hug, hug yeah. right? And it could be that I can direct you to some right sources or resources to, to assist you in you know whatever the issue is, so so I kind of looked at Robin's business and said, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you know you got to look beyond the dollars. Yeah. Uh, you got to provide a quality service because people will come back. And they have, thank God. And, <laughs> and you will also be able to build re relationships. And that's okay? what I did. So I think that those things are important because if you do good and you build good relationships, then it's come back to you. And it does, okay? that's what happened there. That's what made me be able to say that I can do. I she was, she was, she was Holly Berry <laughs> right. And so, and so, and so that. that was, you know, again, so that's, that's, a, you know, the, the way I kind of feel about the, the, the service I provide in the real estate industry. You know, right. I try to make sure that I, I give people the, the best advice I can give them. I don't know at all, but I give them the best advice I can give them and guide them. And one of the things that I think is also important is that we as the black folk, we got to start looking out to, to helping each other. And yep. sometimes it's very painful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, you know, you don't always find the right person. Uh, everybody's not always uh, honest and upfront. But I try to be. But if we don't help each other out, reach back and pull somebody up by their bootstraps. Exactly. Then you know we we don't, we're, we're doing ourselves a disservice as a race. And that's why I wanted to get into why I do what I do. Why I help, I heal, I make things for the body, for the skin, for the, I mean, for inside and out. And that's what my journey and my mission Oh, heal, yeah. So, oh, heal, yeah, right there. Oh, heal, yeah, you see that. He knows what it is. Oh, so, heal, yeah. You know, so I think that, that again, that in, in closing. In closing. In, in closing, <laughs> that I, I think it's important that Robin has done exactly what she's been taught to do and guided to do. And now, Daddy can step back and do nothing but watch the fruits of his labor. And that's right. He did a great job with raising me. So, needless to say about that, we're going to go into some food because my dad always cooks good food. So, his kitchen was his, I mean, he loved the kitchen. I don't know why he does it. He still does breakfast, lunch, dinner as a kid. He always does it. So, we're going to have him in my kitchen showing a meal that I made for him. So, it's my first time making a really, really good one for my dad because he's a cook. I'm telling y'all. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in a minute. We're back and we're cooking in the kitchen with my dad. So my dad taught me a lot, a lot of cooking, cooking skills, the herbs. He cooked with herbs and lots of spices, herbs. Lots, lots of herbs and spices. So that's why I like to make cilantro and fresh cilantro and you know, fresh fresh vegetables cooked up with herbs and spices. That's what we're doing today. We're making raw tacos. And hey, bro, what are you making today? Yeah, I'm sorry, Dave. Raw tacos. What's raw tacos? Raw tacos. Okay. <laughs> What's raw tacos so anyway? raw tacos are made with pecans. I soak the pecans. Um, my vegetables are onions. Um, so man, I'm cutting them right now. My onions, my tomatoes, my shallots, uh, and garlic, and I use. 
Red onions, and I use shallots. Yeah, I use all those. What else did I use? All what about spices. the ginger? What about the ginger? I use the ginger sometimes, but not today. Okay. I'm using my special stage wheat blend sauce, my amino acid. Well, that's the, um, this, this is a little much of a brand. We ain't paying for this. We're using our savory blend, yeah. Our savory blend. We're using our amino acids and avocado oil or olive oil for my pan. Um, when I get done cutting up, we'll go over to the blender and we'll blend up our, um, all our spices. Our walnuts, I mean our pecans are already soaking, so we'll dip our vegetables into the walnuts. I'm going to pecans. Why are they walnuts or pecans? After I saute the vegetables. So hold on one second. Well, while she's doing that, maybe if I can pick one of those out of there. Go ahead, yeah, you can have one. Go ahead. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, okay. This is a pecan? Yeah. It's a walnut. Look, I want it to me. It's a pecan. It's a pecan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes pretty good. All right. So we're back, we're going to create our meal. Um, my oven is hot, my stove is hot. I'm going to add my olive oil to, get that from the daddy. Um, my olive oil and my vegetables are already cut up. And we're going to, I'm going to saute, no it's not, okay, I pulled the pack off from me. I'm going to saute my vegetables, I already seasoned them. My taco seasoning, all my herbs, my spices, and I'm going to do a little bit of, just to get them hot again because I like a nice little, I like them warm. Tacos can be eaten, because they're raw, can be eaten cold, but I like them a little more warm. So warming up my mixture. Oh, man, that look good. That look good, good. good. Yes. I just got it. That's it, that's it. It smells good too. Mmm, it smells wonderful. <laughs> Don't lick the bowl, but you need to be quite real. So I'm creating a little bit of a, I'm having kind of warm, it's already cooked down. Make it a little bit warmer, and then we will put it into our blender and mix it with our raw soaked pecans. I keep saying um, they are pecans, they are so good, and they're soft, so they're nice and soft. Um, once we get that blended up, I'll bring that back over here and heat up the whole, I like to heat up the pecans too, if they're a little bit cool. That will taste okay, but I like my food hot. I don't know. I get a little bit warm first because it keeps it makes the pecans really warm. So if it's warm enough, I'm going to go back over and do it. So, Dad. Is it? No. 
Okay. What's in there? Is that garlic in there? Peppers? I have garlic. I have peppers. I have um, mushrooms. You got red peppers? Red peppers. Green peppers. Green peppers. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. And what's the onions? Onion. And oh. I have shallots too. A shallot? Yeah. Oh God. Then I have the <laughs> amino acids. It's so good. It's all the flavor. It's, it's amazing. So let that kind of get a little bit warm. It's good warming up for me. I'm going to go over to the blender and heat it up. Or blend it up. Real quick in the blender. I don't want that to warm. I don't want it to be recooked again. Because I don't want my, mm. my vegetables to cook all the way down. Yeah, the smell. Oh my baby. goodness, the, the aroma. The aroma is fantastic. Right? Aroma is fantastic. <laughs> Don't copy my, my recipe. Well, I mean, you know, it, it, it's just that I'm, I'm more fascinated by the aroma. I mean, I can't wait to get this uh, blended and eat. And don't copy it at home. I refuse to copy it. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to copy it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go with the blender. I'm going to pour it back into here first so it's a second time. It's a little bit easier on me. Lost the mushrooms and turn the stove off, and then we'll go over and put it into our blender. All right, so I'm gonna mix up my products, and every time I mix up stuff in the blender, or I, I make everything. I, every time I make food, sorry, my dad. It reminds me of my dad helping me out by showing me how to cook in the kitchen. He made us pancakes every day. The pancakes was my favorite meal, wasn't it? Yeah, but one other thing besides the pancakes is, and I'm looking at this dish that you're doing now and, and the ingredients. So if you're looking at it right now, you see peppers going in there, you see onions going in there, mushrooms, garlic. An interesting part about that most people don't know that the vitamin content of peppers and, and onions are very beneficial to you. Yeah. Garlic is known to be a medicinal yeah. healing, yeah. healing vegetable and stuff. So yeah. matter of fact, I put garlic in everything. Everything, that's why I do garlic, right? Everything. Everything. everything, that's my so, favorite line. So, so, so I think that when you get these tacos, not only is there a taste of their aroma, it's the vitamins that, that you're gonna get that's healthy. And what's even more so important than that, it's non-fattening. Exactly, non that's right. So, so, so I think that, that you, what we try to do now, as I was training Robin, as she was a kid, which I do now is I look at things that are healthy, that are non-fattening, that have lots of uh, vitamins and proteins in them that helps you in your life. Yeah. And peppers, garlic, red peppers, green peppers, and even the walnuts. Yeah, the pecans. Pecans. <laughs> the pecans. The even the pecans, pecans are, are filling, but they're not they're fat. Good, they're, good, but they're a good source of fat. And they're yeah. good source, good source so of So you got protein. a whole good meal of healthy living, the whole life in a jar. It's whole right. life. In a taco. In a, in a taco. In a taco. In a taco. In a taco. All right, so we're going to blend it up. Um, sorry if it's too loud, ladies and gentlemen. See, one thing about cooking is particularly when people come into your house, they smell the they aroma. Smell that. It makes yeah. it inviting. Yeah. It makes you want to eat it. Okay? Like, well, what's that smell? And then when you make it pretty, oh my gosh. So yeah, you got the aroma and the pretty presentation. 
is one of the main things yes. about eating, right? Yes. And so I, what I try to do, which is what I talk about, is that presentation is very important. So when somebody walks in, not only are they captured by the aroma, but to see it sitting there on the table with all the colors. All the colors. So they the have red, the greens, the, yep. the whites and stuff. It, it, it's just wonderful. So I, try to, so I try to use colors in my food uh, because of of presentation. Presentation, you hear that? Presentation. presentation. Right. Taco. The vegan taco. With your vegan taco, what you call it? Right. The meat. The meat. Right. This is the meat. Also, I made my fresh cilantro by myself. I love making cilantro. You want to add the cilantro? Smell that. Smell so good. Look like pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. Yes. I make it myself. Add the. I'm gonna need you to add the cheese for me now, Daddy. Well, I think that we need to have Harper come in here and sample this. Oh, yeah, we're Harper. We need to yeah, no, 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 really no, no, sample it. You know, Trey really enjoy this, too. We got a little friend on the set over here. Daddy, add the cheese right on top. And that's our simple, raw top. It's fake meat, but it's vegetables and um, almonds. Well, pecans, sorry. Pecan. Roll it up. And now you like it. Give it that real good taco roll. She was like, yeah, there you go, you tucked it in. That's what I'm talking about, Harper. Mm, Isn't it good? good? Isn't if it Harper good? likes it, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, today for cooking with me and my dad and Harper. See you later. Bye.